Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, I have already created one of the database table as a home slide and that is all that our field I have inserted some of the demo data. So now first of all, I want to do, I want to get this data. That is one of the ID as a one ID. That is one ID data I want to take. If you want to do this work, simply go to our dashboard. Now into the dashboard, I want to create another menu. Okay, so that is in our admin dashboard. Simply go to our admin like right now that is our view so if you go to right now we don't need this migrations database i minimize it and that is our resources view and that is our admin right and into this admin if you go to that body and that is our sidebar so into this sidebar that is um our dashboard right now there is calendar i don't need this i simply remove it and also want to take it a little bit left side here i name another menu that will be as a home okay home slide home slide setup okay so this type of one of the menu and i want to take a new menu or menu will be as a home slide home slide great so for the home slide first of all i want to do and to add one of the route because i want to access it right so if you want to create that route simply i hope you already know about that part that will be as a route and i just put one of the route name and i name it as a home dot slide okay home dot slide this type of one of the route now we have to create that route if you now create it now go to our web we have to create it in our web that means in our route if you go to that our web.php and into this web.php that is our admin controller right better i want to do and to create another new controller so if you want to create another controller i hope you already know if you go to that our controller that is in our http controller here that is a demo right right now we don't need this better i want to do i want to create another folder as a home so here in our particular project area i want to create another new controller that will be a php artisan and make controller okay make controller and i want to create one of the controller in our home directory so it will be created one of the folder as a home and into this home area i want to create one of the new controller as a home okay home slider controller okay home slider controller now that is our actually our command for creating one of the controller as a php artisan make controller so it will be created one of the controller and it will be created one of the home that is our home folder it will be created and that will be our controller name now if you click as a enter now you can see our controller created successful and also if you go you can see to the controller it's created one of the folder as a home and that is our home controller first our job we have to do we have to take it right we have to take it in our web like uh, that is gone i want to do want to open again that is our route and there is our web okay so into this web route first of all you have to do have to take it better i copy it and then i paste it so here i have already created our folder name as a home that means in our app http controllers home folder here i have created our controller name as a home slide controller right so that is our home slide controller great i simply support it and then i have to do i have to I just simply create another group route. I simply paste it right now. Only one will be needed. I remove everything, and then um, there is a route controller. I make it as a home. Okay, I make it as a home slide. Okay, slide all route. So home slide all route. I have already created our controller name as a home slide controller. Now that will be as a home slide controller group function. Everything will be just like that same. Now we have to add our route name. I have already add that route name as a home slide. I copy it now in our web. Okay, so into this web, I want to take that name as a home slide and our URL. I make it as a home and then the slide. Okay, whatever actually you choose right now, I name it as a home slide. And into this home slide, now I want to create one of the method. I just simply name this method as a home slide or slider. Okay, slider home slider this type of home slider method now we have to create in our particular controller as a home slider controller so now simply go to our home slider controller here now we have to create that method so if you want to create it simple work i have already discussed about that things with you that will be a public and then function and our method name will be as a home slider and that is our method okay and also i will make it as a and method because that will be started from to this position and there is our ended method in here great so 
in particular method area what exactly the things i want to do i simply get all that our specific one id that data right that is the data i want to take and i want to load it with our another view page so that is the work now we have to done so first of all i want to do i want to take one of the variable i just name it as a home slide okay i name it as a home slide and then if you want to now access our database okay here if you want to access that database for this database i have already created one of the model right now if you want to access this database table we have to access it by the model for the reasons first of all we have to do we have to use it that means here we have to load our model model in our app and then backslash then there is models folder and into this models folder i have created one of the new one as a home you can see there is a home slider so i hope it's very clear if you now go to our models you can see there is an app into this app and then that is our models folder and with this models i have created on the new model as a home slider right so that is our home slider now with this home slider now we are able to access our database table okay that means that is the database table so that is our home slide so that is a home slide model and by this i want to do i want to find it okay i want to find our id which id i want to take i want to take a specific one id data right so that i simply put as a one id great now it will be get that find our one id data it will be take all the data and i take that things with this variable that means in our particular that row here all that id one data i simply take it now everything in our variable that means home slide variable now i want to do i want to re return it that means from here i want to return and return one of the view page because here i want to visible it right so now in our admin folder into this admin folder i want to do um, if you go to our admin uh, like into this admin where i want to create another folder as a home okay home underscore slide i simply create on the home slide and now into the home slide folder i want to create on the file as a home slide all okay i name it as all and then we have to pass all the data so if, if you want to pass it but we have to pass it by the compact method right so into this compact i have already get one id data take the things with this variable now we have to pass it by the comp compact i simply pass it in our which page i pass it in our home slide all page now first of all we have to create our home slide in our admin folder so into this admin i want to create another new folder as a home slide and into this home slide i want to create another blade page now click as a new file now click as a save as and i just name it as a home slide all dot blade dot php great i hope friend it's very much clear to you so that page will be just like our if you go if you go to our profile with the profile that is our profile edit right you can see there is some of the form there is some of the images that will be just like that so that is our edit profile page i want to do i want to take it uh, that is in our home and that is our profile edit you can see there is all that actually filled now i want to customize it now I simply copy everything from here as the admin profile edit i copy it and now in our home slide i paste it so everything will be just like that same here i simply extended our admin master section admin i hope you already remembered that part now that will be as a home slide okay i make it as a home slide okay home slide page mm, here also we have to update it so let i will do that work first of all i want to update all that our field okay so here i have already updated that field if you go again better go to that is structure our field name as a title short title home slide and video url right now first of all i want to add that our title i name it as a title so that will be as a title and then input field i name it as a title and also you can see there is a value i want to do i have already get a specific one id all the data and i pass it as a home slide right in our home slide all page so now with this home slide we are able to access it so that is our value value will be loaded you know with our home slide our field name as a title so i simply loaded the title right so that is our field name title short title home slide and then our video url so now that should be loaded 
great after that or another one as a short title i copied i always prefer to use the same name then that will be rem rememberable and now i make that field as a name will be as a short title type will be as a text and now uh, i want to visible it with the short title here we have to visible it with by the home slide right so i make it as a home slide and then that will be as a short title i make it as a short short title okay short title and then our another field will be as a video url video url okay video url and video url field name i name it as a video underscore url i copy it and then i name it as a video url and that will be video url in our value if i have pass it by the name as a home slide in our home slide all page so now there is a home slide all page with our video there is a home slide i want to visible our video url great now all that our value should be display and that is a profile image i make it as a slider image okay slider image and for the slider image name i have already added that our field name or field name for the that will be as a home slide that is one of the image i name it as a home slide great great now that's all and then there is our image condition image condition will be right now which one image condition right now i want to do that i have already get all the data you will buy our variable variable name as a home slide now with this home slide our field name as a for the images as a home slide right so then that will be as a home slide and then upload now to create another folder another folder as a home underscore slider okay slide or whatever name you choose now in our upload i want to save this file in here as a home slide now i want to create this folder if you go to our public before uh, that is same before i have created as an admin image now i want to create another one okay i want to create another one as a home slide all that our home slide i want to save it in here and rather than that will be displayed as a no image okay so right now there is a home slide that will be the change as a home slide as a home slide our field name that is our folder name url rather than that will be display as a no image great and then value will be update slide okay update slide and now that should be updated images will be loaded everything is great everything is great now let's check this out if you now click as a save all i have already added that name as a home slide in our dashboard if you now go to our back end i want to refresh it and now you can see now there is a new menu as a home slide as a home slide now if you click as a home slide mm, you can see it's now successfully get the data it's now successfully get i have already manually add some of the data now that data is visible okay i only want to do i want to update this data right so that is the things we have to do when you update it then uh, it will be updated in our database and then i want to read this data and i want to visible it in our home page simple process just simply understand how all that procedure we have to done now there is a title and you can see value is visible value is visible i have already loaded all that our value if you go to our home slide i have already loaded that value right our title value is visible our short title is also visible and here one things like if you go to our theme into the theme that is one of the images okay if you go to your exercise file from to the main theme i have already and download some of the images so that is our image that is also another image that is a portfolio images okay for this image actually they have some of the this dimensions like as a 636 and 852 so if, if you want to resize it that means when you upload some of the images if you want to resize that image then in laravel they have also another extension as image intervention package so when you install that image intervention package you can set your image size okay so before update it okay before update it i want to do i want to install laravel intervention package how can install that intervention package and with this intervention package if you want to resize your images how can do that all that procedure step by step i will show you everything with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video